Okay, so I bought a camper trailer. Well, it's not a camper trailer, it's actually a tradies trailer. It's about two and a half meters long by about two meters wide. And it's generally set up inside for tradies. So what I've done is turned it into a camper for one. So let's take a look at what I've done. So under door number one, we have a full pantry. So each little section I've got in here keeps your jars and everything from rolling around when you're driving. Here you can put all your spices and, and bits and pieces. You've got your your glass or plasticware, your plates, and you can put added food and accessories down the bottom there. Okay, let's come around the other side. In door number two, we have another storage area. So we've got our large sort of artwork around the outside, just to spruce it up, make it look a bit more fun. We've got a window that I've built in, and it's got a fly wire on it. And we've got a few pop planes, just to make it look cool. Okay, behind door number three, we have our living quarters. So inside, we've got our bed. Just take down our trailer bottom. Beds on top. We've got a little flap that holds, hides all the details underneath. Underneath, we've got a hooker which I'll just quickly take up out of the way. And then we've got a handle down here. If we lift that up and down, we can pull out our kitchen. We've got a little legwork underneath here. So I'll just adjust that so that it comes out. It's also got adjustable legs down the bottom there, so I can change it in terms of the height considering uh, what it what sort of ground we're on. We've got the full kitchen sink, which is not quite plumbed in yet, but it will be We've got our area for cooking our chopping board and of course a slotted in area nice and securely for our gas cooker I should keep the camera straight so you can see so we've got our outdoor kitchen area Now let's go take a look inside shall we? We've got a gas hot water service on the end so we can fill up our kitchen sink. And then we go inside. Again, we've got a nice comfy mattress on our bed. Inside I've built some cupboard space at the back, which was the first thing that I built in and which was actually really good because everything else followed it. Next, we've got um, some storage area. So we've got some shelving along the side here. We've got a little lift up table, which has roll out storage underneath to put some clothes or something in. But this table also lifts up. So we can use it as a simplified way, or you can use it as a table, or you can use it for whatever else you want as well. Okay, so we've got some basket storages here. And on our end, we've got a little platform and little makeup area. Hello. <laughs> Okay, so we've got our roof, which is all covered with art. As you all know, I do love art. So we've got all our different artworks and things. <laughs> Sorry about the fingers. All over the roof. So I've got a lot to read when I go to sleep at night. <laughs> Keep me all occupied. On the inside of the window, we've also got all this artwork. We've got a nice breeze coming in through both sides. We've also got a fly wire on this side. And this is all fabric here that covers um, the timber. So it has a much nicer feel and a more arty feel. We've got a grass on the floor as our flooring. And that is essentially a two by two and a half meter camping setup for one. And that's essentially it. Which I think has come up pretty damn cool. And I've got a tent to go over the end here. So it's a little market tent which will pop up and sit directly over the top of the end there. So you can see just how easy it is to convert a little old tradies trailer 
into the camper for one. See ya.